They'll be calling you a radical. World War III has begun. You, well, World War III never stopped. You know, World War II, I should say, never stopped. This is a big, big story out of the Ukraine. The bomb hit the chemical factory, the chemical plant, the chemical munitions dump. It was attacked by missiles. Who attacked it? 200 Russian soldiers are being reported killed. Now, we don't know the exact number, but these are UN, United States military, back freaking. I'm here to tell you, World War III has started. It's on. It's on. And you can all go in denial, whatever. Boy, did I pick the right time and the right genre for my plutonium wars, huh? I started working on my book as this genre of YouTube has been so grotesquely abused. So the regurgitators of the gurgitators. But, but, you think about the power of a Ukrainian with a freaking video to us, boom, 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 and so many of the good vloggers get it out, not the freaking analysis, if the analysis is late to the game, whatever, so important, so powerful, this powerful genre, as I've used it as literature to report the reality in real time, in a dramatic way, as literature. This is a big, big story, and I want to talk about this. Okay, it's the chemicals facility. I know what's in there. I mean, I bet he's sleep drinking this. I know what's in there. This is so heartbreaking and so catastrophic. And I understand the people in Europe, you've been colonialized by the Queen's bitch called the United States on a leash. You know, Churchill played long ball. You remember the Atlantic Conference? The Atlantic Conference was the deal was done. The deal was done. No royals. No royals. Oh, FDR died. It's amazing to me this is all going to play exactly 70 years, 70 years to the day that there's Stalin, there's FDR, there's Churchill at Yalta, Yalta by the sea. For history repeating itself over and it's on plutonium. <coughs> this is a sad, sad story that I cannot believe it. <coughs> I cannot believe this is coming out to play like this. Dramatic, has me choked up. This is sad, this is very sad. That plant's full of plutonium. I'm here to tell you it's fucking full of plutonium. Just like I stood right there and went crazy. They're dumping plutonium into the Pacific Ocean on 4-3. The first videos I did and everybody's like, oh, you can't handle the truth, you don't want the truth. Reality means nothing to anybody anymore. To nothing. Do you know what this is gonna do to the atmosphere? Do you know what this is gonna do to the people of Europe? Wow. Wow. These are UN backed, United States and in military advisors and hardware, and it was widely, oh, false flag, you false flag geeks, you weirdos. I mean, it's widely reported. All this stuff's told to you in your face. You can't handle the fucking truth. America not handle, and let's talk about this. Let's think about Snowden. Snowden, where's he got political asylum? He tried, he didn't want to go to Russia. Sorry about that. It's where the wind blows, it's where the water flows. Hopefully it's still running. He didn't want to go to Russia. Remember they surrounded the plane, you Europeans? You surrounded the plane. The America's bitch on a leash. You know, it's not even America. As we nation build here? What? I can't believe we turned into such a grotesque nationalist. You sit around and watch Fox News, Rupert Murdoch, right out of the house of Windsor. He's everything against Hamilton, Jefferson, the founding fathers. These same people that report. You got the Glenn Beck lunatics, and if you don't think they move culture, oh, they move culture. They moved you into being exactly the royal bitches that they wanted you to be. Murdoch right out of the house of Windsor. Bill Walmart Clinton right a road scholar on a leash. You know, all these guys, these globalists, they're all globalists. They say, oh, new world order. Savage, these guys say new world order. It's disgusting. It's old world order. They, they deflect it. What's the answer? I've, I've known the answer, the same answer that freaking Hamilton knew. The first eight employees of the United States lined up the Coast Guard. What were they doing? They were blocking the East India Company. Tariffs. You've nation built. You've turned into this globalist thing exactly 1914 in your head, but this time it's on plutonium. This is a whole new animal. This is a sad, sad story. This was an attack on the capital, an intentional attack. They sent missiles in there, blew that thing. You saw the bomb. Now this is all oh, that was not a tactical nuke. The fuck it wasn't. That wasn't a per se. I'll tell you, they don't need tactical nukes anymore. They don't need them. 
They got freaking 252 nuclear dump sites just in the United States alone. 104 nuclear reactors full of freaking nuclear fuel. 48 of them in Japan. Yeah, if you don't believe this is all scam and a lie, you think about every nuclear reactor in Japan's been offline the entire time. You see any rolling blackouts? They're nuclear bombs. They're nuclear weapons. Russia's chuck full of them. The United States military knows they're chuck full of them. They hit them. You know what's in that thing? Wow, World War III has begun. And you're all saying, boy, did I pick plutonium wars to be writing my, my book. You know, this is my book. You know, my plan was, I want to do virtual literature. I've been experimenting with this thing the whole time, telling these most epic stories in human history in real time, in a Cassandra-like fashion. You know, using a YouTube camera, the most powerful genre in human history, right here, YouTube camera. The most abused genre in human history, right here, YouTube camera. You know, literature, change around that. Oh no, oh no, tell that to Ayn Rand, another Russian, I mean, think about her. <laughs> Stalin counterculture, she never claimed to be a freaking economist. I defer to the Ryan plan. Rand Paul, a cartoon character. Well, the political dynamic, sound sneaks aside, and think about this, the Samuel Adams Foundation, which is a bunch of ex-NSA, a bunch of NSA patriots, where are they at? They're in Russia. Putin's not playing. No, but the U.S. is. These were, this is a CIA war going on over there. Exactly all these wars. False flags, there's no false flag. You've all been told this on your face in reality. You know, it's just like HSBC right now, Switzerland. It's the same dynamic. You know Obama's had that list. He's had the list since he become president. He promised to release the list out of the Swiss bank accounts. We know all the Saudi money that funded 9-11 we know exactly who they are, went right through these bank accounts. We know they've been protected, and the Swiss government, a whistleblower, leaked it out and freaking gave it to them. So what does that mean to be a whistleblower? You have nowhere to be a whistleblower. The whistleblower comes forward, hands it on a silver platter to the Americans. The Americans are insane, lying, saying they want the list. They want the list. They have the list. All the oligarchs, all the players of 9-11, all the fucking rapers and cheaters and thieves the royals all their names are sitting right there the obama search has them huh stand down because we know who runs this country the house of windsor the house of hansford and you play right into it. oh i'm gonna get my gun i'm gonna get my gun what's your gun gonna do why don't you go out to the bonneville soft flats and race your covered wagon they gun what's that gonna do you tell that to the freaking soldiers in russia about their guns the technology these guys use they don't play their nuclear ticking, ticking on. They don't have to use a tactical nuke. They just blow one like this because we got them all over. There's 252 in the United States. There's no answer for the spent fuel, so they store it on site. We have 252 ticking fucking time bombs in the United States. Nuclear fucking weapons, massive nuclear weapons. So they blow the fucking chemical plant. It's a nuclear weapon. Wow. Into the atmosphere. Get ready, Russia. You know, and you French fuckers can lie. Oh, you know, nobody's died from Chernobyl. Not a fucking person has died when fucking right across the river, they tell you how many have died. You know, it's where the wind blows. It's where the, and I'm here to tell you, my father, Special Force Marine, drafted into the fucking Natalvat site, that beautiful specimen he was. My uncle stood on Omaha Beach on D-Day in the Battle of Bulger, just passed. These are the men that raised me. Nuked to death in the Nevada test site. Died of leukemia later, now his son. It mutates your genetic. These are the fucking worst fucking wars of all. Because they kill forever. The Half-Life Plutonium's 24,500 years. Plutonium wars. It's ironic that I shot that video out there at the Manhattan Project in the desert Utah with the flags on the Utah in there. Wow, how metaphoric and iconic is this? My place in time, it just keeps on going. Am I on my own on an island? Oh, am I on my own on an island? Oh, I don't believe it. Kick the can. Stay on tune it. This is a sad development. I'll stay on this. Plutonium Wars Chapter 8 in real time. Literature in real time. Stay on tune it.